delicious and I am Aditi with Diwali just a couple of days away I thought of sharing with you this very simple Kesar Pista truffle recipe which you can serve to your guests when they come home or you can gift it to your friends and family and I'm sure they'll enjoy it. With only a few ingredients which are very easily available you can create this delicious treat in no time at all. So let's get right into making these. You'll need some white chocolate, saffron, cream, cranberries, pistachios and sprinkles. So here I have the saffron and the heavy cream. Add the saffron to the heavy cream and microwave this till the cream reaches a simmer. You can do, do this in a saucepan. Now transfer the chocolate into a bowl and pour in the hot cream. Let this mixture stand for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes give it a stir until it becomes smooth. Now it's time to mix in the cranberries. It's completely optional but I like the tartness it gives to otherwise a little too sweet white chocolate. Once the cranberries are mixed in, let it set in the fridge for 2-3 to three hours until it completely set. Meanwhile, let's mix in what we'll coat our truffles with. So here I have some chopped up pistachios. You can blitz it, blitz it in the mixer. And to this I'm adding some pink color sprinkles. I just like the combination with the pink and the green. This is completely optional. Now once the mixture is hard enough like this, now it's time to roll these. So take a spoonful of the mixture, roll it between your palms till it becomes a round shape. You do not need to be very particular about it. I mean the rustic look of it, it's what adds to the charm. Once the truffle is rolled up, now it's time to roll, coat them with the pistachio. Roll it around in the pistachio mixture and the pistachio will just stick right onto the truffle. And your truffle is ready. Wasn't that easy? Repeat this till you use up all the mixture and that's how simple it is to make these truffles. So I really hope you like this recipe and you'll give it a try. If you do, don't forget to share with me a picture on my Facebook or my Instagram, links to which are in the description box below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button for more such videos. Before I say goodbye, I want to wish you and your family a very happy and safe Diwali. Until next time, bye-bye.